Alright, so last time I showed you guys how to install the graphical user interface and I figured how about I show you guys how to install some software and actually start using Linux as your main desktop system. So uh, last time we installed um, the Ubuntu desktop environment, which is LXDE. Uh, one way you can check is uh, uh, also by running uh, a few commands, uh, for example, let me open up our terminal here, type in neo patch. As you can see, we are running indeed the same thing, but now we have a desktop environment along with a window manager and everything else. So, how do we go about installing software? Well, it's actually really simple. You just go to your start menu right here. System Tools, LX Terminal. This is our trusty little terminal. Everybody knows that. That's our favorite kind of thing. So, how do you install software? So, before you do anything, you just do sudo apt install. Uh, whoops, no, 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 no. sudo apt update. Because uh, we need to update our packages. Type in your password. And after this is done, we actually get to install some software. Uh, what this command does, it actually update, updates its application cache so that we can install our applications later. Uh, so here it should be our web browser. So if you see right here, it says like, hey dude, I don't have anything. Why would you do this to me? Uh, we do have a file manager, so it's not gonna crash. Um, but here as you can see it just crashes outright because we do not have a web browser installed so I figured that might be one thing that the average Joe might want to install to get everything that he needs to do especially with a low-end laptop so we're just gonna wait for everything uh, the reason why I picked LXDE is because how lightweight it is. There are even more lightweight desktop environments than this. But this one is the easiest to use, so that's why I picked that. So it says all packages are up to date. So what we can do is we can type in sudo apt install and let's say uh, which one was it? The one that I want to use for this. There are multiple choices. For example, you can install Firefox if you want, which is what I'm going to be installing as my main web browser. But it's not a slight weight, so I'm going to install Chromium instead. Um, if you press it multiple times, it will give you suggestions. But we're going to install Chromium browser with sudo apt install Chromium dash browser. And it's gonna wait and list out everything. We pick yes to install it and it's gonna take a while. And this is how you pretty much install software. However, this is not the last method you can install software with. There are other methods. Uh, this is one of the most used one. It's also the one that's being used by all the people who wanna use Linux. They just use the sudo apt install or update commands to get all of their software and updates installed because it's a much quicker way of getting software onto your Linux box. You can pretty much think of the terminal as a universal utility for doing pretty much anything in Linux, which is why we did most of our episodes within the terminal, which led us to this graceful moment where we are installing software. Linux software uh, from the terminal for our Linux box to be the last. Again, depending on your internet speed, it might be faster or slower. So just be patient. That's all I can really suggest. going a bit faster now. There we go. 
Uh, now it's installing. Yeah, it's installing everything one by one. Also, uh, one thing you might have noticed right now, um, right here, using user bin Chromium browser to provide user bin x www browser in auto mode. What this pretty much is saying, this line right here, is that like, hey, I updated your fifth browser, and this one is your default one. So. If you remember, the last time we clicked this, it showed an error. If you click this now, Chromium should open, which it does. So that's how you get your basic web browser installed. It's a fully functional web browser. Um, now let's say there is an application that you want to install. For example, LibreOffice. So just search it up. And uh, if you want to install it, it's up to you. A way I would recommend you install it is by using the command line, but hey, it's all up to you. So, uh, LibreOffice uh, dead. Uh, what the dead thing means is like, hey, I'm looking for the Debian, I'm looking for like the dot dead packages. So we're just gonna pick it from here and we're going to, as you can see, it says download LibreOffice for your system. We have a 64 bit one as a Debian package. And we're going to click download. Uh, we're just gonna wait for this to download it for us. It's a tarball package. That's not what I wanted. I'm not gonna explain what a tarball is. I'm just gonna. Okay, so. Um... Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to download this one anyway. Okay, so we're gonna just wait for this to download. And this is one way you can install software using a Debian package. However, you do not have to use this method. Again, this one is just a last resort. I'm not gonna use it, but the way you would install it would be using something called the package to install it. Just read up. It shows you what it will do. But that, that's how you would install it if you download it, or you could just install it using the command line again, like like that. It's about what five hundred megs of extra storage being eaten up. But I'm not gonna install it. But that that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you install on your software. Uh, let's see what I install. I don't know. Leafpad as a no, not Leafpad. What's it called? Mouse pad, I believe. That's our text editor. So let's just install that. That's much smaller and a much prettier example of it being installed. So you can pretty much, I don't know, um, look for something like, I don't know, Linux. And other things that you just want to do. Um, Yeah, bear in mind that you're pretty much limited by the amount of RAM you have. Since you do not have much of it in this VM, it's gonna be sluggish, but trust me, on your computer it will be blazing fast. So yeah, we're still installing and there we go. So if we have a look over here, with the preferences, there's nothing in here, system tools, nothing. Nothing, internet, nothing, and in accessories, you should see a mouse pad, and if you click that, boom, this is a text editor. This is a text editor. 
and if we want to save it as mousepad.txt and save it and let's just cat it out boom this is a fix to there so as you can see it just works just fine and um, that's pretty much how you install applications and user graphical or user interface you can use it pretty much all the ways you want it to be used it's up to you it's your pc now uh, one way you can shut down is by clicking the logout button and it, sh it says shut down reboot suspend and other things um but yeah that's pretty much it So, again, just for installing applications, just look online. Um, you can also use software centers, which in Ubuntu, it's, a, it's called the GNOME software center. You can, in fact, install it as well, but it's, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not ideal. It's a bit sluggish. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's all up to you. Um, this was, I believe, the hopefully the last installment of this series. Um, just you know, getting you set up for the real Linux world, world with everything that you'll need, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys learned something and. I hope to see you guys next time in some other of my videos. If there are any questions, just let me know. But uh, from now on, I'll be doing more Linux related content. Um, we will be, I guess, looking at opening the SD real soon or Arch even, because those are some really interesting distros to be trying to learn how to install and use. Once you get the basics done, it's pretty much you're getting used to different package managers, which I didn't go over, but uh, then again, this is just the basics, and um, this is just going to show you the way you can run pretty much everything that you want to do within Linux. So yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time then. Bye!